This is Doombox, and I am going to tell you how to make your own mods in TextMod. Now, I know I've mentioned TextMod in my cartography video and such, and I mentioned how you download other people's mods and how you use them and stuff, but now I'm going to tell you how to make your very own mods and use them in game. Right now you're probably thinking to yourself, wait a second, we're working with mods? I don't want to get my account banned. I don't want to get a bunch of viruses on my computer to screw everything up. Well, I can assure you that TextMod is not against the code of conduct and against the rules. However, ArenaNet does not necessarily support this program, which means that they're not responsible for anything that might happen. So but it's not against the rules so you can use it because it's not changing anything in the game that will give you an advantage over other players and nobody else can see what mods you're running because it's just changing the texture it's not like you're giving yourself more attributes and stuff so it is perfectly legitimate and it doesn't have and you can download it right off of the guild wars official wiki and you can look on the discussion page. I'm sure there'd be loads of complaints and stuff on there if it was not a real program and if it was all screwed up. But I mean, if you're still concerned and you don't want to use it, you can just simply not download it. I'm not going to force you to download it or whatever, but I can assure you that I've used it for over six months. I know plenty of people in game that have it, and nothing has happened to them. So just thought I would say this before we start. Okay, to download TextMod, go to the official wiki, which can be found by typing slash wiki in game. Type in TextMod here. Click go. And then it'll take you to the TextMod page. The warning I explained earlier about how ArenaNet is not responsible if something happens is up here. And then it says TextMod can be downloaded here. So just click the here button and then download it. Okay, when you open TextMod, it should look something like this. Now, where it says target application, you're going to click that and then put in your Guild Wars thing, your Guild Wars um, EXE, not your shortcut if you have it on your desktop, it has to be in C slash program file slash Guild Wars, wherever you put it. And then you're going to go to logging mode. Make sure that these three boxes right here are checked, and where it says log with, set that to a button you don't use very much. I use F1 because I don't want to press that, and then this output folder, make sure you remember where that is located or make it somewhere you're going to remember because you're going to need that later. And click Run. You will notice that there is a red text in the corner of your screen. If you see that, you know you're doing it correctly. So find the plus and minus button on your keyboard. If you're using a laptop, you might need to hit FN and then question mark and the quotation mark. Sometimes there's a plus and minus in there. So then hit hit the plus button to scroll through various textures. You will see them in the corner and then the textures will appear in green in game. So as you can see these uh, wall beam things have turned green because that texture is selected. So you can rotate through a ton of them. See there's there's the wall back there. Different parts of it. So let's scroll through here and try and find my armor. Okay, so here is my armor right here. It's highlighted in green, looks kind of weird. 
then you're gonna hit that hot key when you find a texture you like so mine was F1 so hit your hot key and then minimize the game okay then go to that folder where you set earlier to save your textures in and you find that texture you just like extracted with your hotkey right click it say open with and then paint then it will open it up in a paint file so then you can mess around with paint and do what you want to your texture so you can have some fun there Okay, when you're finished, just save it. Just click save, and then that's all. Then you're going to go back to text mod, go to package build, then you're going to select that, um, go to the place where your um, folder was before. It'll be like a notepad thing. It'll say text mod. It'll be in the folder where your um, textures go. Click open, then creator name, whatever. Then click build. Then you name it something, I'll name it armor. Then click save. And then, you're, then you're gonna go to package mode. Click this little folder here. Say browse. Then find your thing, mine's armor. Then open and then click run. Then when you get in Guild Wars, your texture will be on your whatever texture you edited. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, huh? Looks like I splattered some paint all over myself and dipped my hands in... I don't even know, but it's pretty cool. Nice, uh, nice zebra bandana I got going there. Yeah, so... It's pretty cool stuff. It's It's pretty fun stuff you can do with this. I mean it opens up a lot of possibilities I mean I there's some stuff I can't wait to do in here now that that mod I just made in about like 10 seconds I mean you can it's not only limited to armor you can do entire towns redecorate them weapons I mean you can you can spend days working on a like a mod for Lion's Arch changing everything to lava or whatever you want to do but it's really cool it's pretty much unlimited possibilities you don't have to limit yourself to paint. If you have better uh, photo editing software, go ahead and use that. But so, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. This week's viewer of the week is Ascalon Tower Guard. If you'd like to be next week's viewer of the week, then hmm. We'll do a text mod competition. Um, so post a video response with pictures or a video of your text mod creations, and I will judge my favorite and whoever's is my favorite. I will private message them, and they will be viewer of the week. So start modding. Okay, this time we're going to have the awkward ending in my awesome text modded out guild hall I recently made. So... Let me know if you liked it, if you hated it. You can PM me in game as Doombox, or you can email me at doombox3 at gmail.com. Now, I think this uh, episode is going to cause a lot of questions, so you can go ahead and ask me those. If you have any more questions regarding TexMod being safe and uh, legal, you can watch my video called TextMod Questions and Answers that should answer some of those questions or if it's not working for you that video will also help you or if you would like to join my guild you can PM me in game with any questions you have about it or if you'd just like to join it you can do that also so yeah 